Okay, this is an A105. Um, it's a bit noisy. The amp needs a little bit of work. I think the caps are probably out on it. I'm just checking all the tones. This one has foam. And I'm just going to do a tone check on the generator to make sure all the tones are actually working before I disassemble it. So what I'm doing is I've got a little amplifier here. And it's just a normal jack lead. I've taken the ground, grounded to the generator and the tip to this lead here. Put a little um, probe there. So if I touch off any of these points here, I should get the tone through the amp. And that way you can test all the way across. So they're not actually in order. So if you get a dead one, the scratchiness is just the contact, the poor contact. It's actually fine. If you get a dead one, you have to look at maybe if it's a filter or the tone wheel itself. We can have a bit of fun with this, we can kind of go. This is what a tone wheel generator sounds like. And I believe they're ordered in a way to reduce um, crosstalk uh, between tones and octaves. I think that's the way they were done on purpose. Anyway, that's interesting.